alphabet. It is used to spell out words for which there is no sign, like proper names and technical words. Keep your hand in front of the right or left side of your chest, depending on your dominant hand, about here with the palm side facing forward. Then smoothly form the letters without bouncing your hand. If you are speaking while you are fingerspelling, do not say each letter. Say the entire word while fingerspelling it. For example, I have some hints for you. However, when you come to a double letter, do bounce the hand slightly to show it is repeated. For example, puppy. Finally, when you fingerspell more than one word in a sentence, be sure and leave a little time between words. For example, I have a happy puppy. When you fingerspell, form the letters clearly, even if you are slow. With time, you will learn to fingerspell faster later. Edward Minor Gallaudet was born in 1837. His father, Thomas Hopkins Gallaudet, had been the founder of the first public school for the deaf in the United States, the American School for the Deaf in Hartford, Connecticut. When Edward was 20 years old, he was invited by Amos Kendall to direct a new school for the deaf in Washington, D.C. Gallaudet accepted and through his 54-year tenure saw the school become the first liberal arts college for the deaf in the world, Gallaudet University. Edward Minor supported a combined method of speaking and signing to educate the deaf, a belief that brought him in long-standing controversy with Alexander Graham Bell, who advocated a strictly oral method of education. Edward Minor Gallaudet was a pioneer in advocating deaf rights and one of the first to support the use of sign language in the education of the deaf. Hearing people use initialized signs a lot in PSE. Some of those signs are used so often that deaf people in general have begun to accept them. Initialized signs are used primarily for synonyms. You know, English words with the same meaning yet spelled differently. That's right. I will give you some examples. This sign can be used for many words. Class, group, team, association, family. To make it clear which English word you mean in PSE, your hands can use the hand shape of the first letter of the word. For example, C for class, G for group, T for team, A for association, F for family. Then when you sign a sentence like, I join the, you know that it means team not association. It's really important not to initialize too much. There are certain signs that should not be initialized. I'm really offended when hearing people try to initialize everything. There are certain rules about the point of contact for a handshake. For example, this is the sign for begin. It is also the sign for start and initiate. Don't form it with a B or S handshape. You must use the same sign for all three or 
fingerspell the whole word if you want to be very clear. Initialized signs are often used in school programs to give a clear model of English. These signs can be all right in many cases, but be careful not to overdo it by trying to initialize everything. Anna Rinaldi is here to tell you a story about colors. Watch closely and see how much you understand as she first tells about colors without voice. Then she will tell the story again and we will add voice. How much of the story did you understand? Let's watch again, this time with voice to help you. Last summer, I decided to paint my living room. I wanted the living room to be colored rose. I started with a can of white paint and I added some red. The paint became pink. I didn't like it. I wanted rose. So I added some blue. It became purple. I decided maybe some yellow. So I added that. Oh, it became brown. I give up. Now my living room is still white. alphabet is an important part of sign language. It is used for finger spelling and providing the hand shapes for many signs. Finger spelling is used for words that have no signs like names and large technical words. It's important to learn to finger spell clearly, practicing until fluent. You could, every morning, practice spelling the words on the cereal box. Or, as you go to work or school, spell the words on billboards, and so on. It's important to form the letters clearly rather than quickly. See you next time for On the Other Hand.